everyone, and welcome to Modern Survivalist. Today I will be covering something I've been investigating quite a bit as of late, real estate investing. Why, you ask? Well, the good old days of putting your money in the bank and seeing high returns seems to be long gone. Historically, we're currently in some of the worst times for CD and saving rates, and it doesn't seem to be getting better anytime soon. That's not to say that there are no options left for thrifty and investment-conscious people, though. Due to new rule changes involving private real estate investment trusts, regular investors now have an opportunity to reap the same high-yield rewards that were previously only reserved for the super-rich and accredited investors. Now, through the magic of crowdfunding, you can join in on these completely independent, separate from the traditional market, private real estate investment trusts and what's called an e-REIT. E-REITs basically are just privately managed real estate companies that rely on crowdfunding for financial backing. In exchange for your contributions, you get a share of the company's profits. Now, you might be asking yourself, why invest in private real estate trusts and what factors do I need to be aware of? Why not just put all of my money into growth funds or CDs? Well, for one, as stated previously, CD and saving rates are pretty much at an all-time low. E-REITs not only offer a lucrative alternative to CDs, but they also fare incredibly well, even when compared to other alternatives like stocks and peer-to-peer -peer lending, many times beating their rates by many percent. I personally make 10% a year with my e-read investments, and that's on par with most of the other stated averages found online. My e-read investments even beat my peer-to-peer -peer lending investments of 8% a year and my 6% a year in stock gains. In short, e-reads just simply make a lot more money than your traditional investing options. Best of all, though, e-reads are many times completely hands-off giving you way more free time that you don't have to spend monitoring your stocks and the constantly fluctuating markets. In fact, e-REITs are completely independent and separate from the stock market. This means that there's no direct influence of market ups and downs on your e-REIT investment. e-REITs are also incredibly diversified themselves, spreading your money across several real estate assets. Now moving on to the companies that offer these e-REITs, you have plenty. I will only be featuring the most prominent here today, though, Realty Mogul, Fundrise, and Rich Uncles. These are by far the most prominent and well-known companies offering e-REITs today. Firstly, there's Realty Mogul. Opening an account here requires $1,000 ready to invest. Gains can be distributed monthly or quarterly. Their portfolio of assets include new apartment, office, industrial, self-storage, retail, and medical construction projects, as well as several types of real estate loans and rentals. Next, there's Fundrise. Opening an account here only takes $500. They have a few different types of portfolios for you to choose from, depending on your investment preferences. They also specialize in pretty much the same type of properties, loans, and rentals that Realty Mogul does, so there's plenty of diversification within each investment portfolio. Gains are also distributed here quarterly. Last up is Rich Uncles. They have the very lowest point of entry at just $5 to get started. There are also no investment fees with Rich Uncles, and gains are paid out monthly. Portfolios are also made up mostly of commercial properties and student housing. It should also be noted that if Rich Uncles doesn't make you money, then Rich Uncles doesn't make any money either, as investors are paid here first. Now moving on to the one and only negative of e-read investing, and I want to make this very clear because it's very important. With these e-read real estate investments, your money is not liquid. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You must be prepared to have most of your money tied up for at least a few years. This is ultimately what you must endure in order to reap the benefits of such high rewards on your investment. You will be paid your earnings throughout the year, just don't expect to pull out the bulk of your investment early, before the investment term has ended. As far as my experience on this matter, I personally have an account with Fundrise and I can tell you that you indeed make consistent gains. With Fundrise, you can actually see what you make every day, and they give you constant updates on what's being done with your money. I have to say I'm quite pleased with them and will most definitely continue to put my money there. This is by no means an endorsement of any kind, though, just some shared experiences with any interested parties. If you do invest in e-REITs, I would recommend that you do so based on how fluid you need your money. 
If you need some money for emergencies, then this is not a good investment for that, as your money is most definitely locked down for some time. If you do have some money that you can sit on for some time, though, then this is the perfect investment opportunity for you. In any event, make sure you invest your money proportionately across several diverse and different investments. Stocks, e-REITs, bonds, peer-to-peer -peer investing, and so on. You'll have a much better experience if you do. All right, everybody, that about wraps up this quick e-REIT overview. Make sure you're subscribed right here to Modern Survivalist for all things online earning and modern survival. For your convenience, you can find all of the websites mentioned in the video linked in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would like to watch more Modern Survivalist videos, you can do so by simply checking out my channel page. Thanks for watching, everyone and I will see you next time.